hometown back there there are all the houses and the local things so I'm gonna show you a side of Catalina Island that you've probably never seen before I'm so excited to share Catalina Island with you from a local's point of view. We're going to go a whole bunch of cool places like the hills or the interior of the island, hang out with some native islanders like this guy here, and also this guy here. We're even going to make some new friends oh, with hi. tourists. So come join me on an adventure in my hometown and see what it was like to grow up here. This is the first view you're going to see of Catalina when you're pulling into the harbor. This is the town of Avalon. It's only one square mile and it all sits on the water right here. First step is to drive through the houses, pick up my friend's golf cart, and then we're going to go explore. My friend Ruby is the sweetest person in the entire world. She let me use her golf cart and I'm going to go explore the island and show you everything. I just don't know how to use these. Come on, golf cart! Break. Well, I guess I'm stuck. Kind of looks like I'm up in Redding Canyon for all those that are from LA. I'm about to show you one of my favorite spots on Catalina. It's a little known spot because you have to go down this little trail, but the views are amazing. This huge cross here, which is awesome. Also, there's a cruise ship, look. And we're almost there. And here it is, the best view of Catalina. You can see the entire town, all the houses. Um, I grew up like there somewhere. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> I can't get enough. It's my favorite place. I'm so happy to be here. This is the view on the drive down the hill. And just up there is my house. <laughs> Not really, but I'll take you to my house. The house that I grew up in. I used to get in trouble all the time because my friends and I would climb out that room, which was my room, and we'd go to the roof and lay out, and then within like 10 minutes, my mom would get a call and be like, Shannon, get off the roof! Can't get away with anything here. It's such a small town. So next stop is the casino. And here's an up-close view of the casino. Fun fact, the casino is not actually a casino, it's just called the casino because that's Italian for a gathering place. It was built in, I don't know, maybe the 20s. Fact check that, because that could be totally wrong. But um, there's a movie theater inside, there's one screen, it plays one movie a night, and it's the same movie all week, and then the following week there's a new movie. There's also a huge ballroom, really beautiful and really nice, it's like the perfect place to have events and parties and weddings. If you've ever seen a picture of Catalina, you've seen this big round building, everyone always asks me what it is, and it's the casino, but not really a casino, it's just called the casino. Are you vlogging? Yeah. Have you had a vlog? Yeah. <laughs> I just met friends to be in my vlog, hi. hi. <laughs> what are your names? My, my name's Madison. I'm Kelly. Hi Madison and Kelly. Oh my god, you're so cute. Where are you girls from? We're from Vegas. Vegas. I used to live in Vegas. No. Yes. Way. This was meant to happen. Yes. Well, Have yes. you been here before? No. So no. good. Yes. All right, we're gonna talk. Okay. <laughs> this is the other side of the casino where the movie theater is. Love all the artwork here. It's so beautiful. Wow. See, I wasn't lying. This is just another nice little view. Honestly, though. Everywhere here is so cute. Number one question I get asked when I tell people that I grew up on Catalina Island is, no way, is there a school there? So I decided I would show you around my school. It's one school, K through 12. I think there's like 750 kids, at least that's how it was when I went here, which was a while ago. Um, so yeah, this is the whole thing. It's really small. Is like really taking it back. I haven't been here since I've had classes here. Oh my goodness, here's the gym. This is the baseball slash soccer field slash probably football field, all the sports. The last stop is the library and you've officially seen everything. And here's part of the golf course. I just got pulled over by the sheriff. He was like, you need to calm down and slow down, be mellow. It looked to me like I was nuts because I'm driving a local's golf cart and I told him I'm just so excited to be here and he was like, what? Like, you live here. <laughs> but I got out of it, no ticket. And there's this little gem. This is probably the best kept secret on Catalina. Will Richards Art Studio. He built this house, like, 
on the inside of this mountain and he lets all the kids come and teaches all the kids art and he is just a legend this place is awesome the katie's kitchen is one of my absolute favorite places to get lunch and it's definitely a local favorite everyone always asks me where to stay on catalina and i always tell them the glenmore plaza hotel it's my favorite it's right in the middle of town it's super nice there is a bowling alley here it's just like everything else it's just really tiny the lobster trap is definitely a local's favorite I'm gonna come back here later and have some dinner. It's really good. The food's great. The vibe's great. Look, I just wanted to show you the grocery store because it's so cute. It's like really little and tiny. So we're gonna take a drive out into the hills later and I'm just here to pick up some snacks in a tiny little grocery store. Because honestly, you're never too old to drive. <laughs> this is what it's like to drive through the hills of Catalina. You need a car to get there and most people don't have cars, you can't rent a car, you have to live there, you have to have lived there for a long time to get a permit, to get a car. Thankfully I have some really awesome friends who have a car and want to go see the backside of the island with me. Where? Where? There's a buffalo! Bison! Coming up on, on the right side. Hey buddy! How's it going? Yeah. Hanging. Fox! 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 Get the fox! We're almost to the other side of the island, but we stopped to look at the winery. And as soon as we get there, you're gonna see my absolute favorite part of the island. You'll see why. Next time you come over, we'll go through. We're not going off-roading. There's no way <laughs> that's oh not God. happening. It's not even like off-roading. It's almost like this. Th that's not off-roading? <laughs> look, we're friends. Hey, guys. So after an hour of driving, we made it to the other side of the island, it's called the back side. This is a view of Shark Harbor and Little Harbor. It's completely untouched land back here and it's so incredibly beautiful. Islanders are so proud to be able to experience this and visit this and I'm so happy to show everyone else what we get to enjoy all the time. Look how amazing this is. Like a private beach on the back side of the island, Shark Harbor. Pretty good view, right? Do you like YouTube? Yeah, then like that. Are you gonna subscribe to my YouTube channel? Yeah. You're gonna <laughs> like it and comment and watch all my videos? Yeah. And everyone else should too, right? Yeah. Cassidy Rose said it, so. <laughs> so we try to think of the most annoying song that we can play at the bar. People always ask me what it's like to grow up here, so I'm really excited that I got to make this video. I will definitely be making a top like five or top ten tourist things to do on Catalina soon. Um, I'll come back this summer and show you all of that stuff, but I thought this was fun because it's like more personal and it's really like what we do when we live here. So I hope you liked it. If you have any questions about Catalina, ask me down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys. Mwah.